Hey guys, Ryan Porter at Next Home Realty Experience back again with a December market update. We're going to dive into Rankin County. This is historically in 2014 to 18, the average houses on the market, what you would see when you log on to Realtor.com and Zillow, around 800 houses. Fast forward to this December, we're at 220. Last month, 201, so we're going up. That's a little bit of an incline, but what happened in December? we had 144 new houses. That's not as strong as our October and November, but it's common Christmas time. You're not really wanting a whole lot of people in your house. We had a little bit less than the last two years. Look at our pendings and sold. It's still holding from last year, about the same on the pending. A little bit down from last year on our sold, which is a little bit of a good thing. We want to save our inventory, try to build it back up. I don't know if we'll ever see these numbers again. Who knows, but we're a way, a ways away. Over in Madison, a little bit of the same thing. We're used to seeing a ton of inventory on the market. You can get 162 houses to choose from in Madison if you log in. That's tough. That's tough to find a nice house when you've got 121 solds a month. But look at the pendings, the news, 104 new listings. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but we're still way better than we're used to seeing. In Madison, historically, it was around 80 or 90 houses listed, and we're at 104 this December, which is a great thing. It's still chopping at that inventory because our buyer activity is so strong. So why is this buyer activity so strong? The builders are at it. Shane Clinton and his company are tearing it up in Madison, pumping houses out, but you have so much equity. If you bought your house in 2015, and Rankin County for 165,000, which was the median back in 2015. And fast forward it to 2018, you'd make a nice $15,000. That's great, down payment on a new home. If you did some updates or whatnot, you'd get a little bit more. Check this out though, if you bought it in 2018 for 179, fast forward to now, $240,000. Guys, that's big money. When you start talking 50 and $60,000 profit, on a house that you've only been in for two or three years, it's kind of a no-brainer that you're gonna call somebody and be in some of these news. So Ryan's forecast, I think January, we're gonna have a huge year. Last year we had 173 new listings. I bet we shatter that and hit 200. That's my bet, the phone's been ringing, we have new houses being listed. But I do think this number right here with the interest rate still low, these pendings and solds gonna follow suit. I just hope that we have more news than we do pendings and solds. I'd like to see that inventory back. Guys, if you got any questions, just give me a call or any one of our next homies. Good to see you.